You know, in the words of Ruskin Bond, our favorite childhood author, the world keeps on changing, but there is always something somewhere that remains the same. What have you got? Hot chocolate and all food. I remember the first time I read about Landor as a kid. I almost didn't think this place existed. It was like this mystical Hamlet in the Hills created by Ruskin Bond. Emily Landor. And yet there we were creating our own story. Too cold? Yeah. Like my nose is frozen. It's worth it. Can't talk it's that cold. Oh. It's starting to snow again. Good luck. On a cold and misty winter's morning, walking through the dense pine and oak trees, natural luxuries like fresh air, clear views, clean place, Tudor style cottages that dot the hillside, full of lore and legend. Landor is basically history at every turn. So as we sat down to discuss the plan for the day, the aroma of chocolate and coffee, it showed us the way. The Landor Bakehouse simply has to be the most iconic spot in Landor. Entering this quaint little mountain bakery, it transports you to a bygone era. Wooden decor, rustic ambience, vintage wall clocks, and century-old authentic recipes. The Landor Bakehouse truly feels like going back to a century ago. Seeing the pine trees through the frosted glass on a cold rainy morning while we tucked in on the secret recipes more than centuries old. Fresh scones, croissants, hot buns, cinnamon rolls, cookies, crepes, cakes and coffee. This place truly reminds you of the era bygone. Landor is the land of peanut butter and we didn't know but we just asked somebody and we got to know the story from the British time that they, when Britishers left from here they actually left the machine which used to make peanut butter for them and this particular place has that machine still written they are making the peanut butter Wow Landor is a very small town and best experienced on foot. In fact, the whole town is just two gold chakkars and the best part is that you can never get lost because wherever you go in Landor, the road will get you back. Picturesque towns of Masuri and Dehradun shine just below, but in Landor, you can remain blissfully above it all. The St. Paul's Church is here since 1840 and was one of the first buildings to be constructed here. Since this is still a cantonment area means that there are no new constructions allowed here. But Landor today is for lovers. Lovers of nature, lovers of peace, lovers of lazy afternoon rambles around the Chakkar. To check out the outside section, it's very pretty. So after walking around all morning, we reached Char Tukan and headed to Cafe Ivy. An elegantly done up interior, but the real surprise was outside. The outdoor patio area of the cafe had surreal views. We'd found the best two ways to warm ourselves in the chilly mountain air. A little fire and some lemon tea. I think we were finally beginning to understand Landor and the unhurried pace of mountain life. 
green hillsides, clear views, fresh air and the smell of mountain rain. So after two rounds of teas and our body is nice and warm, we had made a new furry friend who would take us to the next part of town. The Domas Inn & Cafe is a very popular place in Landon. The Domas Inn Cafe and Guest House is like a slice of Tibet. The prayer flags, the bells, in fact the entire architecture of this place and I wish I could have shown you the inside but he asked me to not shoot their private space so I'll leave you with this it is the best place to come for some authentic Tibetan cuisine and to pick up a few lovely souvenirs to go from Landau On the roof of a modest cafe, an observation deck with a telescope and the most mesmerizing views of the Himalayas. It is from here the high Himalayas stand out to the north, snow peaks that rise more than three times the height of Landor, sheltering sacred sources of the Ganga. This is the perfect place to view mountains like Kedarnath and Nanda Devi. Landor had already surprised us enough, but yet there are two chapters left. What is it? This is dark hot chocolate with marshmallow. See? A little below Landor lies the bazaar, and I think this is Ritika's favorite chapter. Every hill station will always have a woodland store. Come now, let's shop a little bit. Mountain here. shopping? Yes. The winters are almost over, but why not? They have beautiful stuff. You know, call it English influence or so, but the jackets, overcoats, trench coats, they were superbly stylish. Here. Nice. So Landor is for somebody who wants to do nothing on their holiday because this place is simply for just walking around. Landor is a very small place, just two small gold chakras. Bird watching, photography, composing poetry in your head and holding hands with your girlfriend or boyfriend. They are the main attractions in Landor. It's a town for all seasons, be it winter, snow, monsoons, spring, summer or fall. I think Landor is for everyone. Everyone who is willing to tread softly and listen to the whisper of the wind in the trees. The long silences walking along the chakkar, daisies by the roadside and of course the dense pine, oak and deodar trees. If you come to Landor, the best thing to do is to walk around because you are walking around these tall deodar trees, the alleyways and the cobblestone roads, the way this town is made. It's such a pretty vibe to just walk around and get lost in Landor. And there it is, that was the story of how we met Landor. If you are still watching this video, please hit the like button and show some love.